and welcome back to Shenanigans, where we were just discussing donuts in San Francisco, and apparently there's a good donut place that I've been missing out the entire time that I lived there. Yeah. Or, well, you know, donuts the size of your head. Yeah. I, I posted the link in Twitch chat. Uh, those of you on the YouTubes are just going to have to Google Bob's Donuts San Francisco, mm-hmm. and then uh, do a Google image search. Giant donuts. Ooh, that's a big donut. Bob, Bob, Bob's doing his share and, you know, in promoting obesity in America. Hell yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Somebody's got to do it. Yeah, we are number one in obesity. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think we're slipping on that, actually. I, I, I think we are sl- number one in human trafficking. How are those people get Once again, this people. got dark very quickly. <laughs> The funny thing that we are. <laughs> have I ever, yeah, have I ever funny, told you funny, funny thing? Funny thing. Funny thing. Funny thing. Funny thing. Okay. Have I ever told you the story of what's what, what happens behind my house? No. <laughs> no. So, so behind Do my you house, want to know? behind this, we have we have like a big neighborhood, and it's a very nice neighborhood. In front, there's no like it's all nice, but behind us, there's uh, some very old uh, pipes. The pipes should not work. Officially, if you ask, they're out of order, but they work. They're hot water and gas, so they're always hot. All the hobos in the city sleep there, all of them. It's, it's like the reunion. They literally, you, you see the bags and little huts everywhere at night. If something happens back there, like for example, you get mugged, if you call the police, the police is gonna come in two hours. Why? Because they need to call the firm, have the pipes shut up, because <laughs> if they're not shut off, they can't do the official report. If why something not? happened, because they can't put on the report that that's why the hobos were there, or the pipes are actually working. Why not? Why can't they say that they're working pipes? Because they're not supposed to be. Because they're not supposed to. Officially, they're turned off. Because European funds funded the new pipes that haven't been constructed yet. For five years. Oh, the wonders and of the Europe. And all yes. your homeless people are also pulling into Sweden. Oh, no, we lost. Oh, yes. we lost. Oh, right. I, I'm glad your story didn't involve human trafficking. Yeah, I was <laughs> I was little. The hot pipes. No, no, I don't know about that. If that's something I don't know about, we ju- I just know it happens. Unless the hot pipes are taking water to the dungeon where they store everybody. Happens. Yeah, maybe. But I know that nobody goes out there at night. I didn't see how this was related in the first place. <laughs> Shit happens behind my house. <laughs> That's what it was right. Okay. Yeah, We're going adds to... a little to the local flavor. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, when Neil's going to be here, I'm going to introduce him to all of this. <laughs> to all the, all the sketchy pipes behind your house? Yep. Yeah. Awesome. So, Kenya, okay, yeah, come, come to Sweden and you, you, you're... You don't get any of uh, I will be in Sweden as well. Um, cool. Anyway, let's get back. I think Chet will join us when his internet is, or his computer stop, isn't quite so wonky. Um, so you guys come to find Desmond's daughter crying in the streets. Her name is Lila. I will run I'll... towards her. Like, run towards her. Sweetie, what happened? Yeah, and I head up there too. I think we all do. Okay. Uh, in tears, she looks up at you and goes, I, I got my spells wrong and I got kicked out of magic school. Oh, oh no. What, what spell was it? Was it Hog- Woghorts? Mm-hmm. Woghorts School of Magic and... <laughs> and what, what was it called? Woghorts School of Wizardry? Witch- 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 was that what... I don't know. It, it's Woghorts. <laughs> we, we had a friend who named who created a magic school named Woghorts, and I, he he had a tagline with it, but I don't remember if it was of witches and wizardry or if it was of something else. What what spell did you get wrong? Burning hands. Oh, Witchcraft. that one's the toughest. Witchcraft. Like you put your finger the wrong way, and then oh, you burn I singed, an instructor. I singed his eyebrows off and kicked me out of school. Now I got to go tell my dad. Well, that's not fair. You know what? You know what? Why run? You know what? Well, do you I want us to? Do. do you want us to go talk to at World Hearts? Do you think you could change his mind? She says, trying her eyes and looking doe-eyed I, at you. I, 
uh, we years, could make it we worse, could. could we? We could. Well, yeah, we couldn't way. make it oh, worse. Like, make this worse. We could find the way. Shut we up, would Jill. find the way. Shut up! Shut up! We can't make this worse. I mean, oh yeah, okay. yeah. It's it's Professor Patty and um, <laughs> yeah, he's he's the one who kicks me out. Okay, we'll go talk to him. Uh, is this uh, this is night, isn't it? This is evening. Right, we came here then. Evening. It's evening. We'll, we'll go talk to him first thing in the morning, sweetie. Is that okay? No, but then I have to see my dad tonight. You gotta fix it now. You gotta fix it now. We we do have something for your dad that might make him. Your not... dad might be kind of busy tonight. Yes, <laughs> I think your dad won't have um, anything to do with you tonight. Just he stay won't. behind us. Just what? Don't. No, but he mom's coming you. home from a long trip tonight. <laughs> yes. And uh, they want to spend yeah. some time together. Uh, as I'm with Uncle Slade tonight. You know? We're going to have a good time. I'll teach you how to pick locks. I, 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 no, I, I want to cast me. magic spells, she says, stopping uh, ground. And picking a lock isn't magical? Come on now, kid. It'll be a good time. Come hang out with your Uncle Slade. Uh, uh, we'll tell you what. Why don't we, why don't we work on magic? Oh, wait. She's 13, Lila. not 6. So she's not quite such a whiny brat. Yeah. Um, so Joe you know, you know, here you know, is a sorcerer himself. Can't be whiny brats, believe me. Yeah, but not like, have... but but not child, like not infant. Like I don't want to be that. It's not cute you're anymore when you're can't be that whiny. <laughs> Simon, do you have children that are thirteen years old? I no, but I worked in school. I I worked. In school, uh, so uh, I I've seen I've seen shit, Neo. I've seen. <laughs> <it>. <laughs> I say, here, here's something that should cheer you up. I like take out the dog. Here's a dog that we rescued from a fire on our trip. Oh, it just burned. <laughs> oh, Corgi. Okay. I think he's in need of a good home. Okay, but make sure that you talk to to Professor Patty Jill. tomorrow. Jill, give me give me the bag. Uh, you you stay with uh, Ryan over on here. I'm gonna go distract Desmond, give him the bag, and then you can go up in the rooms. I take the bag and I exactly do what I just said. Okay, right, so I'll try to work with Lila um, magic. We'll see what she's doing wrong, even though I don't know this spell. Uh, so Chet, we just uh, we basically got a new contract to get a 13 year old girl back in Wakhorts, the school of wizards and wizardry. Okay. That's all that's right. our country now. And yeah. it's Desmond's uh, Desmond's daughter. Can't values education. Daughter. Yes, yeah, she got education. kicked out of school for singeing off her instructor's eyebrows. Did so I go, Desmond. Oh, I was an accident. As okay. I go in, hey Desmond. Ah, hey, you're back already. I'm gonna like because I'm big. I gotta like, gonna cover up his image of the entrance. Hey, this yeah, we just brought it back. Your friend Georgie, a, a real nice guy. I need to say. We, had, uh, we did, did have to teach him a little lesson. He, he did, yeah, we didn't have to teach him any lessons. Uh, he did some yoga with us, and uh, and Matthew was all good. And I give him his the bag. I kind of wink at him. Ah, uh, thanks. Uh, they kind of have you, of course. <laughs> uh, he takes the bag and shoves it in his coat. Uh, are you? Are, are, is is Jill and Lyra up in up in the rooms? Are you guys going up? Sure. Okay. So are they up? Are they, can yeah, I, they're can up I in their, the rooms. Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh, good seeing. Good seeing you. Uh, we'll talk about the favor later. Yeah, no worries. And um, as I said before, just keep this between you and me. Nod my head and I wink at him again. Like mm -hmm. Rylene doesn't really know how to wink. She does this. <laughs> is, is everything <laughs> okay, <bullshit>. Rylene? <laughs> no, uh, it's it's okay. Just my eye twitching. Oh, God damn right. it! I need to get this thinking thing. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, you guys take care then. Um, he leaves you be. Uh, is it just is it just Jack and Joe and Layla? Joe, Jill and Layla. Uh, like, I will go I'm going to try to work with her on magic here. Okay. Um, Eric. Eric. Yes. Background noise. I'm like, show me how you did this and make sure you're pointing that way when you do. Loud noises, going to sing me a song. Background so, noises, singing a song. Playing with kitties, thinking of 
Middies. So she goes through the... <laughs> yeah, middies. Having a blast. That's what mind. came to mind. <laughs> she goes through the process of casting the spells, and her pronunciation on everything is terrible. You're surprised Levi she could create Osa. any fire at all. Leviosa. <laughs> Weasley. <laughs> 50 um, points for Gryffindor. Yeah. Okay. So those of you standing out in the street, um, Chet, Manuel, Slade, and Alejandro, you guys are still standing outside while this is all happening. And who should you see but Lizzie, Desmond's wife? And you hear her loudly go, Psst! Psst! Chet! Psst! What? Okay. And gestures Lizzie? to you. Shh! Shh! Bring the, bring the guys, bring the guys. Let's go over here. Everyone. All right, so she's around the corner at Shenanigans. And uh, as you guys come around, she goes, okay. That's I know. the badass fighter, right? The badass yeah. fighter? The Huntress. Yeah. yeah, the Huntress. The Huntress. Okay, okay, guys. Yeah. Um, I saw you guys talking with Desmond earlier. And I saw you leaving town and coming back in. Coming to Shenanigans. What, what's going on? We killed a brownie. Yeah, uh, that's over. terrible. Yeah, it was it was weird, you know. Like we, we took this uh, <laughs> this trip up to see the hinge. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but it's great up there. It's really pretty. We the took hinge. old man William because he's gonna die soon, and we wanted to see <laughs> the world. You know, he's on his way out. He's all you know? so we're just trying to do a nice thing for an old man. For an old man, right? Say that that hedge. You didn't happen to see. Uh, an old friend of ours there, did you? Because we we use that as a, a drop spot to meet with old friends, um, particularly a, a guy we know from back in Bardish. There really? Some, there were like a yeah. dozen people there, so I don't know. A dozen people at the Henge, really? Great. So weird. what did Desmond They're have you do? Some kind of party. <laughs> right, right. A dozen people at the Henge having a party. Okay. It was weird. It was something. No, pain. tell what, what's going on. What did Desmond have you guys get? Pagan cult. Mm-hmm. We're just taking an old man out. Mm-hmm. Look, guys Desmond can you. raise the prices of the drinks, but I can kick you out of the bar. So tell me. <laughs> what's going on? Um, what did he get me this year? I learned math. It, it was good. Yes, we all learned math. There's a ah, time to go this longer than you guys got in trouble. I, mean, I can now count on my fingers. Look, I can right. count to ten every this year. Like this, go every, down a list of the worst possible things that he could have had us do, and I'll <laughs> tell you if you come across it. Every year for our anniversary, he procures some thing from somewhere in the world that's supposed to impress me and make me feel like, he, or make him feel like he's still a grand adventurer. And every year it gets more and more ridiculous. So, what did he get me? Because our anniversary is in three days. Honestly, I don't know. I didn't look inside the bag. She turns to Slade expectantly. You've got a big mouth. I do. I Ten use gold, and I'll tell you what's in. Uh, and if you tell me what's in there, what do I get if I tell you what? Who? Ten gold. Uh, I don't really know what it was, though. As much as I want the ten gold. She turns to was... Manuel. Manuel. Oh, discretion is our number one priority. Discretion from whom? Who? Shut up. Oh, we... Who? It's whom. Whom? Yeah. No, I don't she, know. She's not that well educated. Her. She turns finally to Alejandro. Alejandro, you're the last one here. 30 gold if you tell me what's in the bag. You don't know, by the I... way. Only Joe does. <laughs> I, I think only... Isn't like only... Only Jill does. Not even I knew. Yeah. Jill didn't tell us either. Yeah. I used um, Lo, Lo, Lo siento, senora. I... <laughs> <laughs> no habla. <laughs> Lo siento, means I'm sorry. Lo siento, yeah. Por favor. Lo siento, senora. No habla. No habla common. <laughs> it's... It is not to my knowledge. To Alejandro. Alejandro does not know. Borsh is going to fart on your food tonight. And then she walks inside. <laughs> I... 
All right. I, I, I will beat Borsch in a hand wrestle to not make him fart in my food. <laughs> uh, you guys head inside, and the evening finishes up. Uh, you get your food, like always. Um, I sniff it. I don't know how I'm the placebo sure effect is pretty it. strong, so you're not really. I'll eat rations. I'll eat rations for tonight. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to eat tonight. Okay. With that friend, because yeah, we never. Want to eat, so. <laughs> the four of us that are outside are just gonna go hungry. <laughs> not even us, because they I, keep us in I the just same. Eat the bar peanuts pile. and the pickled eggs. Yeah. Oh, okay. All goes well. Um, so now. Jill will get 50 gold because she's the only one who knows. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, we finished up everything a little earlier than I expected. I thought the brownies were going to take a while, and I thought you guys were going to actually <laughs> give yeah. in and get and yeah. tell her what's going on. You were gravely yeah. mistaken. I was gravely, gravely mistaken. Yes. Uh, power man! <laughs> I mean, he went, to, he, he went out with the blast. I mean, yeah, what can yeah. you? I mean, yeah. yeah. So, is there any blaze of glory? Are there any yeah. um, plans that you guys want to enact? Because you know, sometimes we'll do some things off off stream where you will send me a message and be like, "Ooh, I want to like buy a squirrel suit." Or I want to, <laughs> you know, my damn, I want awesome. to buy a squirrel suit. <laughs> no, there, there's already a squirrel suit in the party. Um, yeah. Justin, yeah. who's More not than here, one squirrel suit would be bad. Yeah, <laughs> Justin. Me and Dodge are trying to get uh, Ryra back in school, so I don't know if. Why you does, have yeah, let's do that. We're still working on. Let's um, do that in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah, so just if we skip back to next morning, me and Joe, I'm going to take Chet as well, if Chet wants to do this. Does anyone else? Why don't you all go? Why doesn't the whole party yeah. go? Let's go yeah. to the whole party. Yeah, guys, why not? At, at the table, guys, this is the situation. Yeah. Just to, together. For time's sake, well, I just... First, was I, I able to help Lila to do better? Yeah, you... I mean, every, she was wrong on everything. She... She may have Did the she... gift of magic, but she has no training or discipline. I, okay, Joe. Do you think Aristotle can put in a great word? You know, elven cats kind of go a long way. I think. I'll see if Aristotle wants to come. Okay, so Aristotle is, is... Aristotle up for it. Aristotle would prefer that you come along with her on her walk. So if she gets tired, you can carry her back. Um, she doesn't really care where the walk is, but. She wants you to come along with her so you can carry her when she gets, you know. Right, sounds but good. Is, is, is that just a random cat or something? Uh, it's no, she's an elven cat that can TK cat. the whole party. That's yeah. how powerful it is. Well, I don't know about the all. whole party anymore. You guys have gained some... Some of you have gained some levels. Elven cats aren't how that strong. How many hit dice did it have? How, how much? How it's many hit three dice? plus six, but it can cast in large on itself to double that. Plus yeah, six. so okay. three D8 oh. plus six to... You have, you, you have a monster in your party. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's true if anybody owns a cat. I, I, okay. Yeah, I suppose. So, just for time's sake, adventure to Hogwarts! Okay. Well, you well first, that, is she able, if like we're going around claiming she can do this now, can she do this now? Can she do the spell? No, no, she cannot do the spell. I, I will teach Even her after now. all the training that I did? Oh, yeah, no difference. She cannot cast it at all. Maybe she's just tense, you know, to loosen up, you know, breathe in the positive energy and you breathe out the negatives. You know? Just you know, don't worry too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, you guys is head it, over to... pronunciation or what? What is? What do I feel is the problem here? I mean, you feel like she's being given a an algebra test when she's been studying geometry all day or like hasn't even attended class. It, it's just one of those like hopeless situations where the child is so far behind that... They can't possibly hope to like. Well, I'll, I'll question about that. Has she been going to class? Have they been teaching her wrong? Does the teacher just like you know show up and give them dittos or something? I mean, what's going on? The uh, problem is they've been teaching to the standardized testing that they use. So are we going to reform the school? Really learns anything? So she actually has. To, she actually should have gone to like medical kindergarten first, but like they just you know upped her for some reason. Like she's not, she actually has to learn like a lot slower than that. You know? Uh. It appears that she has been receiving notes passed back to her uh, from a boy in the front of the class, and her. Uh, when you go through her journal of like notes, it's all like 
the same name written over and over and over again in different ways with different like hearts all over it and stuff. So she hasn't been paying attention here. Yeah, the name written all over the book is Ronaldo. All right, Oscar, who's Ronaldo? A boy in my class. We study together sometimes. He's been trying to help me with my magic, but it. You know, that it's just. there's I can't even create any sparks. Uh-huh. I, mean, I think there is a spark, but just. But, like, you know, a different kind. No. No <laughs> sparks. And then she oh. starts weeping again. There, there. There, there is. It's all right. Lot, lot of, lot fish in the sea. Chet, do you want to take the professor or Ronaldo? How do you want to do this? So, are we killing them? What? what? Oh, no, 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 <laughs> Convincing them to, um, well, put Ryla in high regards in their own lives. With the charismatic people here. Um, let's start with Ronaldo. I mean, at least we get some information out of him. Hey, where's this Ronaldo boy? Is he here today? She nods um, and points across the schoolyard because the school hasn't quite started yet to a, what seems to be like a 17-year-old young wizard who's you know doing very well. He's uh, in and pretty good shape. 13? She's so 13. She clearly has like a crush on a much older oh, guy sort yeah. of thing. Like I got, so is it called Lila? Is it Lila. Her name? Mm-hmm. Uh, Lila, he's, it's this boy. He... It's just he is not interested, right? He's not been doing things. Right? But what do you mean? Is doing what, things. Have you when you study, it's just study. Right? Mm-hmm. I try and pay attention, but I don't know, it feels like my tongue swells up in my mouth and I can't say anything right. But you've been studying with uh, Ronaldo? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's distracting, no? Well, what do you mean? So, you. Do you this think is... you could learn better from somebody else? But he's a really. He's the best student you? in school. But you, clear, you clearly like this boy. Maybe. Mm. You, you see, it doesn't really go very well hand in hand when you have someone you like really much. You, t- you think about person a lot. And then you cannot concentrate on the, the thingamajigs you do at this school. You what see, about it, it's, too, it's too much to focus about. Why don't you study? See, that, that boy over there who's, who's sitting under the tree studying... The mm-hmm. little, like, he looks like he's your age, the one with the lightning bolt scar. I, I've got a feeling about this kid. I think if you study with this kid, then maybe, you know, you'll be able to pay attention more. Chet, I think I know how to approach the professor. <laughs> how should we do this? I'm really well, enjoying this. Like, we're solving this problem over here. Because this I, is something you want to do, right? You want to do magic? Wanna... Uh-huh, oh. uh-huh. I do. Let's go. Let's go see. Maybe he would be a better person for you to study with. Okay. So you walk so over I mean, to this be... this other kid. Actually, yeah. Let's flip back and see what the other group is, and then we'll come back okay. and deal with the. Yeah. We'll deal I with think Ivan. me and Chad are Chad are going to the professor now. Okay. Our and goal is see. to convince. Just lie to him. Is that okay? Uh, cool. Make sure. <laughs> There we go. So we need to convince him to take Lala back. Now, in oh, right of the Ronaldo thing, we can just say it's 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 childhood things. She's only thirteen. Yeah. We can definitely convince him. You can do it. If you need any help, I'll be right behind you. Damn straight. All right. Well, let's go talk to this guy. Okay. You show up at Professor Patty's place. At his house or like? I uh, no. He, his his office. Okay. I'll make sure. So <laughs> I'm, I'll, I'll make sure my armor is very shiny. I'm gonna like fire away all the suit and all the blood from it, and I, we enter inside. I guess. Okay. Uh, knock, knock, knock. Come on in. Hi, how's it going? My name is Chet. This is my head of security, Rylene. Uh, we're two locals from here, kind of some adventurers, you know. We're good friends with Desmond. Uh, anyways, hey, so uh, Lila, what happened there? I see your eyebrows are kind of missing. 
He scowls. <laughs> uh, you notice that he seems to have a pet uh, sitting on a chair next to him beside his desk, and the pet appears to be a platypus. Um, what which... the fuck is that can, thing? Can his name be Perry? Uh, <laughs> possibly. I've never seen anything like that. What is that? It's a platypus. It's a what? Un wow. unusual sort of creature I found in my travels and my studies. And yeah, it's kind of cool. How did you bring it back here? You just magic. Oh, that is so cool, man! Oh, like, my magic is selling horses. So if you never eat one of those, you can just come on by. I got plenty of great selection, Manning's mares. Don't forget. Anyways, back to Lila. So what happened there? Like, uh, I'll cut to the chase. I, she's a really good girl. And you know she's got a lot of talent. Uh, we've been observing the situation out in the yard. We think she's just distracted with a boy. So, well, you know, children's. Maybe give her another chance. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You have Do you heard, see uh, yeah. what she did to my face? We're have you children. seen what Rylene did to this brownie earlier? <laughs> <laughs> did you Trust see me, my, my dear sir? They are just children. I mean, have you not? Do you not have a child? He shakes his head. Well, if, ask any mother. A child is a handful. You just need to have patience. But when the flower finally a wizard needs discipline opens up, yes. But she's only thirteen years old. Or thirteen years old. You need to teach her discipline. You are the master. You need to shape the skull. She's unteachable. She refuses to pay attention. She's always writing notes. What if we promise that's that's gonna stop happening, and she's gonna pay a lot more attention? But just give her another chance. Every kid mm -hmm. deserves it. It was a boy. Yeah. Kids these and days, the availability of paper and parchment. All they're doing is writing notes to each other and passing them back and forth. One of these days, they're going to run out of parchment, and they're not going to know how to use wax tablets like we did, and it's just going to uh, be problematic. Uh, uh, These kids. I think they have it so easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start easily move towards him. I'm going to remove my... my um, what are these called? Gloves. Gloves. Gloves, and I say, you know what... She's just a kid. She does deserve another chance. Now, I'm going to lean over, kind of touch his hand with my hand. And don't you think so? Oh, again, my, by the way, my scale mail is a bit, like, open. So. <laughs> oh, Are you trying good. to seduce him? What, what do you think I'm doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm doing. Let's, let's, let's read between the lines here. What is your hotness so, score here, Rylene? Uh... Why well, well, have it? We haven't. You haven't. Okay. Eleven. But I do have a lot of charisma. If I, if you want me a charisma score, I can do that. I have a seventeen in charisma. I know how to talk. I would say seduction is a is a charisma skill. I would say too. Uh, you mean? Do you want me to roll it? Just yeah. Give me give me a charisma check as you woo this man. Natural twenty. Natural twenty. Natural twenty. Natural one. Oh, cool. Oh. Cool. Eleven. Eleven is good. Well, I mean. So, yeah. Let's give him a willpower check. <sighs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> Professor Patty does not have a lot of willpower, guys. <laughs> Professor no, Patty no. puts a hand on your back and says, Well, there might be something we can do as he slides wow. his hand down your back <laughs> and then uh, stops where it turns to legs. <laughs> I, I look at. I look at. Uh, Chat and I say I, I have this uh, solved. Chat, I will see you later. <laughs> yeah, Chat is just standing I'm in the doorway, watching this. And orcs right now. I'm getting the fuck out of this room. Okay, closes the door, and I mean, I do. I do want to go more in depth here. No, know no, no, <laughs> no, oh, no. We're yeah. done. We're done. Right, we're good. Right. <laughs> it's a lot of cranking. Yeah. Look, of it's cranking. fine. He, he closes his office hours for, um, you know, twenty minutes. Uh, and wow, 20 you minutes. Could, you could oh, like yeah, I mean, he got spells. You know, there's, there's 15 minutes of cuddling in there. Uh, and five nice. minutes of me taking yes. down my armor. Yeah, you know, it's just a... Raleigh um, uh, takes off her armor and starts, you know... No, okay, <laughs> Simon? <laughs> Simon? Yeah, that's why we have Simon here. <laughs> 
Uh, uh, of anticipation both in their eyes. Uh, so looking. back with the rest of the party, uh, you approach this younger boy sitting underneath a tree uh, who who Layla or Lila tells you whose name is Ivan. Okay. Hey there, Ivan. I thought his name was already yellow. Anyway. Uh, he looks up and sees you guys approach. Do you have Layla with you? Lila with you? Uh, sure, why not? Okay. I think she's there, right? He looks up, gawky at you. Uh, hi. Hi, how are you doing? Good. What hi, are you hi. doing? Well, I was just wondering, do you know how to, how to cast Burning Hands? Yeah. Well, you know, we, I, I'm friends with Lila here. Hello. Hi, Lila. And Lila really needs someone who can help her study. You do know how to cast burning hands. How to cast burning hands. Can you, can you show us? Uh, is it, do you, does she need a tutor? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she needs to study with somebody on this. She's... I thought she were study buddies with Ronaldo. It and wasn't it's... really working out. Not really working out. Oh. And we thought maybe you, if, I mean, unless you don't think you can do it. No, I, I, I yeah, I'd be happy to shoot. Come here, Layla. Lila. Uh... <laughs> Look, Lila. Pay attention. Look closely. Uh, he no, goes no, through no the, other distractions. He goes through step by step, explaining you know, the exact pronunciation. She follows through as well, but her pronunciation is like generally bad. Um, he seems very patient and tolerant and very attentive. And now you might be getting the impression that maybe, maybe there's, maybe he's the new Lila. <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah, cool. he, he seems very, I, I, very interested in helping out Lila. Uh, he, we don't, we, know, we it, don't care. It's, it's, it's okay. Oh my god, teenage. It's, mm -hmm. like, so puppy, it's like puppy love. I mean, ah. After 20 minutes, I come out and I'm like, um, hey there, sweetie. I go on my knees. Hey there, sweetie. Uh, that's Lila. So I've got some good news for you, but first you need to promise me something. Yeah. No more parchment and ink. But what? no sending notes. What do you mean no more? How am I supposed to write my spells? No, 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 no. You can't write your spells. spells. You, know what? you know what I mean. No more parchment and ink, okay? Promise me. Okay. Okay. If I hear this again, if this happen again, then Desmond is going to hear about what happened today. But until then... Hey, you're not my I... dad. What are you do I... trying to tell me how to run my life? I'm not. I'm not telling you to. Run. I'm. I'm basically issuing a small threat to you. Yeah. Who the hell do you think you are? Do you know who my dad I'm, is? I'm the. One I'm word the from me, and my got, dad will beat you up. I'm the girl who got you back in school. Hmm. Sacrifices were made. <laughs> <laughs> no, no sacrifice. Lila, you. You know we don't have to do this. Because we wanted to. Hmm. And now your father doesn't have to know. I appreciate that. you just don't have to hold it over my head. Oh? Why can't you just do something nice and be nice about it? But if you promise us, if you if you promise that you will pay attention, then you know. That's, that's all, all we wanted. That, that's, all we, that's all we ask for. <laughs> she... we, want, we want you to succeed. It's very good to have education. Me, I'm just yoga instructor. No... Can't can't even read, can't even write. It's, uh, uh, Alejandro is stupid. Um, but you, you have your whole life uh, ahead of you. You can be whatever you want to be in wizard. <laughs> Give me a charisma check with that speech. Okay, roll. I have a fourteen in charisma. Ooh, that's pretty good. Twenty-five. Nice. She nods solemnly and goes, "Okay, that's a good point." Thank you. Um, I smile at her, and well, uh, that's about it for us. Uh, you have school to do, and we'll go back. We'll see you later, whatever. 
Bye bye. She waves. Take care now. Um, and you'll be nice to each other. No, <laughs> pay it. You know, listen to uh, what's it, what's his face, Ivan. Listen to Ivan. He yeah. he teach you. He, he do good. Maybe. Um, Rob, you can, if you would like to, you can give me a, uh, a chance to learn spells to try and learn burning hands from them. As, okay. You know, while you were helping her, like while you're getting a look at these kids' spell books and whatnot, you can get a chance to learn <laughs> burning hands. Okay, rolling the uh, learn spells percentage. Yeah. Okay. So what's your chance? Uh, it's not super great. Let's see, it's fifty-five percent. Oh, that's, I mean, you could do it. Come on. That's pretty decent. The 50 50. <laughs> like, yes. like, uh... Come on. You've done good rolls. Oh, yes. There we go. All right. There good you job. go. You now low burning hands. Please add it to your repertoire. As, as we kind of move out of the school, I'm going to. Chet, good oh. job on convincing the professor. You did really great. Yeah. Was that, that speech was just a wink at him, kind of like stupid guys driving us. Oh, I said, good you job, did great. Chet. Yeah. Good job. I don't know if you know this, but Chad is effectively traumatized by <laughs> actual so uh, Chad, you're tense. About this whole experience. Chad, you, why, why are you so tense? Uh, me, we do yoga. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. oh breathe in. Breathe. I kind of, as I put my sh like hand on his shoulder, uh, Chad says, he doesn't really know how to bend and twist. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you guys head back to the bar and let's dole out some experience and we'll end just a few minutes early. All of so, Ooh. here we go. Um, let's see. The the quest is worth there and back again is worth probably like <laughs> 750. The ogre that you fought is worth about 500. I'm level uh, 2. Well, hold on, that's not per person. That's you get all the experience together and then you divide it by the number of players. <laughs> So, do, I get, you know, you know, do I get something bonus uh, from sacrificing creatures? No, you, just, you make better... You, your relationship with your god becomes better. Um, and also, I killed the thing. brownie on my own. I, I'm, it doesn't matter. Your combat experience is split between everybody equally. Eh. Eh. <laughs> um, let's see. There was a, a very good diffusal of a potentially lethal battle. Um, so that's... A nice thing. Let's give some there for that. Uh, there was yeah, the there brownie was. burning, uh, which effectively finished the entire brownie side story um, <laughs> very quickly, though. So let's give some experience for burning brownies and saving corgis. Yay! And let's see. Uh, then there was Lizzie. And you did not succumb to her pressuring or threats or any of something like that. You stuck true to your guns and you kept you protected Desmond's secrets. Uh, right well again. done. And we Lyra's secret. No. <laughs> we protected Lyra's secret as well. Yeah, they protected so, the secret they didn't know. <laughs> yeah, but they could have easily been tempted to be like, oh, well, hold on, so-and-so knows, I'll go find out, or something like that. Or like, there were roots. In or the there were, I could have yeah. rooted out. No, they don't. That would have mm -hmm. been fun. There were a lot of things that could have been done, but it was very like, I don't know anything, I know nothing sort of thing. I, I, I'm very pleased. Um, you got Lila back into school, but at Yay. what cost? Uh, at yeah, what Riley cost? It was pressure. Riley needs to do a prego test. Check. Check. Oh, yeah. Uh, give me a, a D28, Riley. Riley. A D28? Yeah. What a time of the month. Oh. Uh, 26. Okay. Um, okay. I, I now know everything I need to know. Uh, and I'll let you know if you need to know anything when you need to know it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> let's go. Oh, dear. We'll drink Baby some moon tea or something. Um, Save your party hats, everyone. Having a mage yeah. kit, I'm okay with that. Yeah. We'll reuse the banner from my party. Well, <laughs> probably, you're probably going to drink a lot of ale in the future. Can't think of anything else you guys need experience for so divided by six players that is we four. named the town oh you named the town we, we named the, the town yes everything. we named the town the dm was too lazy to name we made it we made up a song about algebra you did make up some algebra stuff I learned and we finished we finished Why? the whole uh, learned magic william quest 
William. But most important, we learned about yoga. Oh yeah, the whole yeah. William side story. Yeah. Okay. We, the Williams. Totally uh, which... Oh yeah, I drew on his face. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I forgot all about you drawing on his face. There were should have been consequences there's for no that. Mirror. Yeah, there's, there's, there's no, no mirror. mirror. You're right. There weren't though, because he didn't even notice. Yeah. Um, but he he was fairly upset that he knew that he didn't actually have to teach anyone algebra. Uh, he kind of just disappeared at the end of that story, but, but, he, but he did he get to see three the people, five people, and people the children's on. with his face. Yeah, we did this whole montage with him teaching us and us singing songs, and he was really him. happy about it. Remember? Yeah, okay. the song was still going. Yeah, he literally said proud. All right, so everybody gets. We're just going to round this up to <laughs> seven hundred and seventy-five experience. I'm level two. Uh, unless you have a 16 or higher in all of your prime requisites. And I think that's... Pat, do you have that? Uh, 16 strength? You're a what fighter, right? Yeah. Yeah, 16 strength? Yeah. Okay, so I think it's Simon, Eric, and Pat have all the prime requisites, so they get an additional... Uh, they get a total wait, of 582. Neil, I have, but, a, I have my charisma and my strength. The prime requisites are... 16s above as well. No, 17 goes. Oh, needs to be 16. Okay. Yeah, it needs to be a 16 in all your. So I level up, by the way. Is, is, wait, wait so how much was it? Paladin per person? is two two fifty, isn't it? Uh, two two fifty for paladins. Yeah, uh, everyone gets seven seventy five. Simon, Eric, and Pat get eight fifty two, eight fifty three. Eight fifty three. Yeah, sounds good. Oh, I think that'll get me to second level in thief. What's my head dice? D ten. Plus your con mod. Yeah. Gonna roll it now. <coughs> What's your constitution, Chucky? None. Uh, okay. Non-existent. Nice. It's it's ten. All right. So plus eight there HP you for you. Did you level Pat? Yep. 50. Level two fighter. Okay. Well, give me a D10 uh, plus any con you might have. Um, or HP adjust under constitution. There's no HP adjust. Okay. They only have thirteen. A D10. One. Three. Nice. Uh, right. Rob, did you level up? I level up in Thief, not in the others. So how do you want to do that for the multi-class? Oh, boy. Um, the rules is written. I don't like the way they do it. They say, you know, uh, if you level up in Thief, roll the D6, divide by three, round down. I think that's dumb. So give me one third of your con, but like keep the point blah, blah, blah. And we won't count the point blah, blah, blah until you, it becomes a whole number. Do you remember what you rolled the first time around? Um, I don't, well, I had, I mean, got six overall the first time around. I don't think I had any like fractions floating around. Okay. So it came out to like I an even 18. Even. Yeah. Because you, yeah. Um, yeah, so just... Uh, all right, so yeah, give me a D6. We'll divide it by three. Is that That's how it works, right? Or do you get full HP? Yeah. I don't remember. Uh, from no, I think plus. it gets divided. It's all divided by three. Yeah. That's weird. All right, so 1.3. 1.3, so... Yeah. 7.3 hit points. Yeah. Um, okay. So I'll put the fraction there so we remember it. Cool. Uh, you guys just hit level two, right? No one hit level three? Neil, no. uh, do I get anything for level two besides HP? Mm, you get a plus one to hit. Okay, cool. Just to, to write that down. At level three, um, you get new saving throws. Melee adjust or like plus one to hit? Plus overall? one to hit melee and missile. Every All your bonuses okay. to hit get plus one. Plus one and missile adjust is a two now. Yeah, don't adjust it in the section to the right of your stats. Adjust it below your HP. Yep, that's yeah, what I'm doing. Cool. cool. Is there any other housekeeping that we need to do? Any Anything else that you guys want to do? Rob, you said you wanted to identify some stuff. My, roll for money. Yeah, but I don't have the money for it. Okay. Cool. I get Check, five, you five still got, oh, we have to divide up the uh, the gold. Right. Three so. new HP for Chet. Chet, you leveled, so you also get a plus one to hit and damage. User. Oh, not damage, I'm sorry, just to hit. Um, oh, I get those two? Yes, plus you also get a plus one to hit all your fighters that are leveling right now. 
So everyone would get like eight. If we did it equally, it'd be like eight golden. Yeah, three, everybody three, would get three, 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 three. Eight gold and yeah. like three silver or something. I was so. given 40 gold and we got to divide it between six of us. No, no, no. It's actually six, sorry, because Pat took 10. So yeah, six gold. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, it was 50 gold, but down to 40. Yeah, yeah. Right. so six gold and 60 silver each of us. Divided six gold and six down. silver. Six silver. Yeah. And six copper. And right? six copper, yes. There we go. Um... That is the entirety of my wealth. Done. But actually, if I just try on the locket and the bracelet or the copper band, does anything happen since I don't have the money to actually see? Uh, which one do. do you try on first? I'll try on the uh, ruby locket. Okay. It fits on you quite well. And uh, you feel kind of a, a warmth flowing throughout your body. You feel kind of at inner peace. Hmm. Do you share this? Uh, Joe, do you, you share this with us? You discovered Joe. Uh, no, I, I <laughs> <of> this. <laughs> acquired this uh, separately. I'm going to figure out what they are first. Okay. All right. What about the copper band? Um, the copper band feels cold and chill to the touch. As you When you put it on, you kind of like feel a, like your bones are tingling. Okay, these are weird. Uh, I will need to identify a spell at some point, I guess. Uh, the copper band won't come off your arm, though, once you put it on. It, it, Ooh, just, it cursed, seems think. stuck. Uh, do I, you said I got warmth from the locket. Do I need the locket to counteract this band? If I take off the locket, do I feel worse? Nope. They seem like two separate non-interacting effects. When you get the... Does she feel like her sex is changing? Uh, that would that's, that's a very personal a thing to ask a woman. <laughs> uh, I right. think that's it. <laughs> so, so at like some point, I'll get enough money to figure out what these are and actually have some spells cast. Yeah, Jenna is actually really wealthy. I don't know if you guys know this or not. Like, especially relative to you. <laughs> How much do you have? How much gold uh, do you have? I think at this point I have uh, just shy of 80 gold, something like that. Wow. I'm not super rich, but I had 140 from my initial thing. And wow. This expense was 75 gold on Ricky, and everything else is copper, basically. Yeah. Chet lives like a king, while the rest of you guys live like peasants. I had a lot of money until you know I contributed hey, to, to rebuilding somebody's uh, inn after it burned down. Well, well hey, you know, I, 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 I have enough money to go to to uh, like yeah, from a birthday party. I'm not too. Yeah, <laughs> you've got cash, actually. Uh, I got some cash. Alejandro's got cash. Oh, but no one knows. You <laughs> seem like dishing out the gold coins <laughs> on the side to pay for things. Damn straight. Okay, and that's it. Let's uh, round it out. Does anyone have any farewell wishes? Anything they wish to say? No. Uh, Gems of Fire next week. Fury Road. Yeah. Dude, next week, Yo. when Slade Wilson gets dared oh. to swim with the shark. What? <laughs> uh, I do want to say thing. that the Ryan, the player of Friar Morton Bixby, it is his birthday tomorrow, <laughs> and I know he's not here right now, but I don't know. It's unfortunate. I don't think there's anything we can do for him. Sing happy birthday. We can we can we can send him a Molotov cocktail. We can send him a sexy birthday card. Yeah, send him a sexy birthday card. With all of us on it. I think that would be fantastic. Uh, I can write it. But if we can find out some way to make his life oh, a little bit more birthday. miserable the next time he plays, or somehow tease him about something birthday related or getting old or something like that, that'd be great. And I think in the spirit of what we do here. Um, so that's sure. it. Let's yeah, your sexy birthday card. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, I think that's it for the show, and we'll see you guys next week. And I think there's going to be gems of power on Tuesday, and misclicks on Tuesday, and role play on Wednesday or Thursday, and dicing with death on Thursday or Friday, and 
God knows what. If then... you've never if you've never seen a dance dungeon in D and D five E, then check out Gems of Power. <laughs> Right. because that was amazing as uh, neil is going to be amazing when you jump in i really want to know how you're going to react that's going to be fun we'll, we'll see what grunt does all right everybody see you later Bye-bye. bye 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 bye